Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial, I am going to explain you what is joins in SQL, its different types and how to use it with some simple examples. The SQL joins clause is used for combining records from two or more tables in a database. A join is a tool for combining fields from two tables by using the common values present in the both tables. So these are the different types of joins present in SQL. Let me explain you one by one. Inner join. Inner join returns rows when there is a match in both the tables. Left join returns all rows from the left table even if there are no matches in the right table. Right join returns all rows from the right table even if there are no matches in the left table. Full join returns rows when there is a match in one of the table. So here you can see the graphical representation of all the joins. For your better understanding, let me show you how to use joins with some simple examples. This is the SQL command line interface and today we are going to perform join conditions on two tables namely students and marks. Let me show you its data. Select star from students and select star from marks. Here you can see these both tables have one column in common which is student number. So we are joining these two tables with this student number column. Let me show you how to do it. For this example, we are going to retrieve student number, surname and forename from students table and marks from marks table. For this, we have to type select. After this, we have to give the table name which is students dot now the column which we are going to retrieve from students table so first is student number student n o comma again we have to give the table name which is students dot next column which is surname surname comma again table name dot for name and now we are going to retrieve mark column from marks table so marks dot mark from the first table which is students now we are going to perform inner join here so we have to type inner join and the second table which is marks and now we have to give the condition on which we are going to join these two tables so we have to give on and the condition so here you can see student number is common in both the tables so we are going to use students dot student no equals to marks dot student number after reading semicolon and enter so here you can see we got the combined results for the two tables which are students and marks we got the first three columns from students table and last column from second table. Similarly, we can also use left outer join and right outer join for the similar example. Let me show you how to do it. We just have to type left join. After hitting enter, we will now get all the records from left table even though there are no records 
present in the right table. So here you can see this last record has values only in the left table but there is no marks present in the right table. Similarly, we can also use right join. Let me show you. We will use the same query but instead of left, we just type right here. So here you can see this last record. It is only present in the right table and there is no records for this in the left table. From this two example, I hope you got the clear idea between the left join and right join and what is the difference between them. We can also use where condition in conjunction with joins clause. Let me show you how to do it. For this, we will copy the entire code which we have used earlier and we are just going to add the where condition here. So where and our conditions will be in this case we will fetch all the records in which the student have got marks more than 50. So where mark dot mark is greater than 50. After hitting enter, in this case we are getting the records for marks more than 50. In this short tutorial, we have briefly understood what is joins, different types of joins and how to use them with some simple examples. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and also ring the notification bell to get latest updates.